Oh, what a beautiful day. Happy trails, everybody. As you know, this is Mike with Shower Pouch, and you're on Waypoint Overland TV. Waypoint Overland and I had a quick conversation yesterday, and, and I told him I would give him a little history uh, behind the background, uh, the innovation that brought this product to life. And obviously, if it wasn't for individuals like you and Waypoint Overland, um, obviously we wouldn't be here today. So a little background. Uh, we started a company in 2016. It actually was birthed from the idea uh, of my father, who was in the military, and he did his last deployment in Camp Leatherneck in uh, Afghanistan. And uh, he would move from one forward operating base to another, and uh, the Marines would actually take him around. And he would tell me, like, man, these guys and girls would sneak to high heaven. He said, how in the heck are they just living off of baby wipes? And at the time, I was working uh, for a consumer packaging good company, and I specialized in uh, personal care. And he asked me, like, can you make something better than baby wipes? And that's where the innovation is just like the idea came to life. Uh, obviously partnering with my business partner, Omar, who's a, a fantastic chemist. Um, you know, we finally had a chance to sit behind the bar one day and he said, look, I can develop a formula that would be vegan, hypoallergenic, pH balance, um, organic ingredients. And it's way better than any baby wipe because baby wipes are literally essentially just water and a little bit of soap, right? That's why you feel sticky when you use it. So fast forward a year and a half of development, uh, we talked through uh, the size of the cloth. And a lot of people think, oh, just figure out uh, you know, what, what cloth you, you need. But first we had to figure out the size. So we needed something that could clean the center of your back. Baby wipes, you can't do that. Obviously, you try to, try to touch the center of your back is nearly impossible. Uh, so we figured out two feet was the minimum dimension needed to be able to grab from one side of the corner of the, uh, of the cloth to the other. Uh, so once we nailed down two uh, foot by one foot, we then said, all right, what is the substrate we need? So we wanted something that didn't just wick off and fall off. Like, you know, we could put, use any material, but we found this uh, engineer cloth working with a uh, domestic vendor um, in the Carolinas and came up with a cloth that was very similar to a sponge. So we were able to, you know, develop this two foot by one foot cloth. Uh, with the cloth material that is like a sponge and be able to put into a really small pouch that fits the, the exact dimensions of your back pocket, right? So that was our minimum requirements. So once we had that figured out, obviously we had to get the formulation right. A year and a half of development, it took us going back and forth. We first started t uh, beta testing with some friends in the, the off-road overlanding community, actually guys from Camp Pendleton, uh, some guys from the Marines uh, down in Southern California. And we were testing different variations of the scents, the menthol, uh, the different fragrances, everything you could think of. And then once we felt, felt like we landed something, we took it, for, uh, took it to showtime, and this was back in 2016. And uh, that's when Overland Expo West became the biggest uh, partner for us to really get our name out. And the rest was kind of history, right? So obviously, uh, it's a sensorial product. You've got to try it out for, for yourself to understand, like, why would I justify, you know, spending, you know, a, a little bit more than a baby wipe to get the best body wipe experience on the planet. So we stand behind our product. It's a two foot by one foot, full body wet wipe. One wipe will clean you from head to toe. Um, the innovation behind it, especially when you think about the packaging, we developed out of a foil pouch, so you can boil it in water, you can stick it in the freezer. Um, it has a three year shelf life. And think about those cold nights, you know, especially for us in Southern California, it gets really, it'll drop in the fifties. And if I want to wipe down with baby wipes at night, it sucks. You know, but the fact that you can either put in a jet boil or like what Waypoint Overland would do, he would put it in front of his buddy heater. That's two different ways of heating it up. And now you're able to enjoy uh, your time out on the trail or on the road and not have to think about how grimy I am or how, you know. So th those are the things we wanted to show the consumer benefit. And uh, we've been riding this wave of just, you know, just sharing uh, the experience and why this is better. And obviously we started developing more products between bath bombs, uh, hand sanitizers, a disinfectant wipe, especially uh, at the onset of COVID. So we're trying to be your number one hygiene solution company on the planet for the outdoor adventurer. Everything is pocket size, so you can carry it with you. Really small footprint, and we have a, a really strong sustainability story with everything that we have. So hopefully you come out. Again, we're in Overland Expo Mountain West in uh, Loveland, Colorado. Come by our booth. We're stuck between Trails Off-Road, Fox, uh, Falcon Tires. You can't miss us. Uh, Thanks again. Take care, guys. All right, so um, just to kind of explain what the product is, I'm actually going to 
show you the citrus shower pouch, which is actually new for us. We have two different scents. We're still trying to nail down one of the two scents. Uh, Waypoint Overland obviously has his favorite, and uh, he'll probably share with you what he thinks. But this is a cloth. I mean, this is the pouch. Um, as you can see, has the you know the instructions and everything. You can read the ingredients. I really highly recommend that you go on our website and read it for yourself because uh, my mother, being from the uh, from the south, she always used to say, if you cannot pronounce it, you shouldn't eat it. And the same thing should be applied about what you put on your skin, right? So we're talking about aloe juice, tea tree oil, witch hazel, willow bark, menthol. These are things that you're familiar with, you know. Uh, but we wanted to stick with organic ingredients. Uh, we didn't believe in like using a, a lot of soap or anything like that because soap left behind, if you can't rinse it, leaves you sticky. So the essential oils is what actually lifts and removes the, uh, the funk and odor and everything else. And also the menthol gives you that the simulation as if you just stepped out of the shower. That's why you get that cooling effect. Now, so obviously you see the size of the cloth fits perfectly in the back pocket with these, right? So you can pull that out. Matter of fact, if you want to heat it up too, you, you know, set a butt dial and you, you, you use your rear end to actually warm it up. And then you pull it out. Uh, obviously this cloth is, is dry, but just want to use, uh, share with you like what the size of the cloth is. It's two foot by one foot. Really, really, really large. And it's tough as nails. You can't break it. And you can't do that with a baby wipe. It will not fray. So uh, especially men who have beards or, you know, really scruffy, if you use baby wipes, you'll have, uh, you know, leftover just like paper fibers all over your face. This won't do that. And the cool thing about this is that at the end of life, um, we tell people like reuse it as many times as possible. So if you're out camping and say you're a hiker uh, and you're walking across a stream, wet it, right? And because it's a sponge, it will stay wet for a very long time. And I always tell folks, just stick it underneath your shirt like this. Boom, now you have a cool wet cloth over you. Uh, you know, it help cool you down while you're walking. And then when you get home, throw it in the dirty clothes, just like your, your, your socks or your, um, your shirts and stuff like that. Wash it, and when you get done, um, give it a second life, you know? So uh, that second life can either be turned into a shop rag. Um, you can literally just, if you have some Ziploc bags, clean it up and make your own version of shower pouch and come up with your own ingredients that you feel like would work best for you. Um, so those are kind of the cool, novel uh, features about the product and what makes it very different from a pack of baby wipes. You know, we're all adults now, so we shouldn't have to use baby products if we don't have to. All right, let's, uh, all right, as if I'm just pulling it out of, out of the uh, shower pouch, pouch. Pull it out, you got your two foot by one foot. Now, this is the minimum distance that you need to be able to clean the center of your back. If you're really smart, start off with your head. Head and hair, you can actually clean your hair with this and come up, work your way down and you just work off in sections. So this may be your head and face, this is your chest, this is your legs, and then this is your growings. Right, so let that be last. You know, start from the top down, not the other way around. You've probably heard that before, but common sense isn't common. So uh, yeah, that's it, that's how you use the product.